This is my response to comedian Tony at the Madison Square event with President Donald Trump. First, as an American, I truly believe that it is a gift to have the First Amendment, the freedom of religion, speech, and press. And I also know that the far left, the extreme left, is trying to censor what we say. And so if it doesn't align with their narrative or agenda, they're trying to limit our speech. And as a comedian, yes, we do have, and I'm not a comedian, but we do have as Americans uh, freedom to speak. And so this comedian wanted to down a people group. And so we have to understand the line between stereotypes, biases, and even racism. And I truly believe after seeing what this man said, it was racism. And so we have to draw that line. And I'm personally saying that I disavow and rebuke those statements. I don't believe that his statements represents Americans, Republicans, independents, or even Democrats. But I don't believe his statement represents us. And even with former President Donald Trump, I, some things that fly out his mouth, especially towards women, I rebuke those things as well. Again, I'm not here to say that both sides are right or both sides are totally wrong. I'm just here to represent the kingdom of God. I don't believe that Puerto Ricans are trash. So I wanted to offer an apology to uh, the Puerto Ricans. There's no race that is trash, whether you're Puerto Rican, Dominican, whether you are Hispanic or black or white or Asian, from Ukraine or Russia or Palestine or Africa. There is no trash race, right? I believe in the Imago Dei, the image of God. We are the image bearers of God. Therefore, if we're bearing his image, we must be the light because we receive the light when we are born again, accepting Christ. There's a scripture that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And we heard what's in the heart of comedian Tony. And so one of the things I wanted to do personally is say, look, Forgiveness is available to you, my friend. If you know comedian Tony, you can send him this video. Forgiveness is available. And I want to say, I forgive you. And I want to challenge you to apologize to the Puerto Ricans. And also, not even just apologize, but repent to them. That means to turn away from that type of language and never go back to that again. Look, we are Americans and we should not be more divided in this time. We should be more united.